Hello, Namaste, and welcome. You are watching D1 Nepal, and today I'm going to show you how to change the password for SubBank Year. If you are using SubBank Year and you don't know how to change the password for it, I think this video help you. Mostly for those people who doesn't know how to change the password and username for year, I think this video can be help for them and you can see the password and username is too long and it's really hard to connect and if your friends someone coming on your house and uh, they want to connect your password and you you need to show them this very difficult and long password so you can put your one password and username for subbank here so i will teach you today on this video how to change and how to put your one password so don't be late let's go and change the password and username for subbank here you can change your password and username for subbank here for these things if you have a cell phone a smartphone or if you have a computer uh, both you can use so now I'm going to show you uh, from computer it doesn't matter if you have if you don't have a computer you can change from your smartphone as well so for these things the simply you need URL code for subbank here I will give you uh, that code on description you can uh, copy and you can paste on your Safari and or your favorite browser whatever you feel good to use it so I'm going to show you from my laptop and I'm using Chromo so the URL code here you go 192.168.3.1 so let's go go for it You can see this kinds of interface on your screen if you are using your cell phone you can see there and if you have a computer on your computer screen also you'll see this kinds of interface so now you can change your username and password so for these things First of all, you need to go here. You can see Wi-Fi LAN, LAN LAN. All these things written in Japanese, but uh, you can use your mind because Wi-Fi LAN is a simple. You can easily know about these things. So click here, Wi-Fi, and there is username and password. For subbank here, simple for username it's user u s e r user and also password the same user so login after logging you can see this kinds of interface so ssid one setting ssid two setting so go down go down now you need to go here encryption setting so click here here we go you can see i already changed this username and password uh, a couple of days ago so there is uh, username and password from here you can change here whatever you want to put here for example put a list 2G Wi-Fi whatever you want to put you can also for the second username you can put your one username I will put S I R Z U Wi-Fi and then you need to focus on this line you need to put W P A T W P A T and also the same W P A T and go down there is a key you can change the password from here like I put my one password so that's it so 
now click here after clicking there you can see this kinds of interface on your screen then just click here and wait until 120 second to rebooting system and then you'll have a new username and new password for your softbank air so this is the way uh, from where you can change your password and username for your softbank air wi-fi so after two minute 120 seconds i will show you new password and new username for air so just wait for a while so now you can see there is at least 2z connected already so now new username and password i already use it so that's it very simple way from where you can change your password and username so if you have any confusion you can write your question on my comment box thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you very much bye bye